Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So for today's vlog, I should share ko yung mga pregnancy symptoms ko. So to those who do not know, I am pregnant with our second baby and we are having a girl and Dylan's walking in the background with his eating his banana. So are you done? You didn't even finish your banana, buddy. Yes, your bus. Okay, so going back, I am six months pregnant or 27 weeks. So by next week, I will turn seven months or 28 weeks, which means I will be in my third trimester next week. Nakakalito lang kasi dito sa US, they are using weeks. So that's why I just um go with the um i googled the weeks to months pregnancy that way where am i in my pregnancy so it is so fast i can't believe next week i'll be in my third trimester already so yeah i guess so this might be a long video but i hope that you guys will stay tuned and Let's get into it. First is on my second trimester right now is madali akong mapagod kahit maliit lang yung nilakad ko. It's like, oh, oh. I'm always I'm already out of breath like okay, hold on. Feeling ko I just climbed a mountain. So that's one thing in my <laughs> symptoms right now. And then the next one is my tummy feels bigger and tighter. She is growing. Hi. Hello. He loves his bus. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Another thing is I am always thirsty and I really, really no, no, love no. to no, no. drink very cold water very very cold especially na mainit na dito sa US so I always like to drink cold water I always put ice in it and next is I can feel a lot of kicking now palagi siyang para siyang nang gymnastics sa loob I always feel her like kicking and rolling around so it is it is pretty nice and amazing to feel those kicks this time around and with that it is getting uncomfortable to fall asleep like at night when I try to go to sleep it takes me a while to fall asleep kasi palagi siyang naglalaro sa loob I make sure that I don't eat um, sweets or chocolate <laughs> before I go to bed because that's also one thing and I've been craving chocolate at night and if I do that, she is like super hyper inside my tummy. So I need to stop doing it even though I really, really crave chocolate like late at night. But I have to stop myself or else hindi ako makakatulog sa gabi. Turning around the bed, it's getting uncomfortable and my belly is getting big. So that's one thing. So next is very, very dry skin. So I've been having dry skin since my this pregnancy started but now that my belly is stretching and getting bigger so um it's getting itchy so i need to make sure that i put lotion and moisturize my belly so that's also one thing and then my feet are starting to swell when i am walking and i look down at my feet and i see them that they are getting swollen or fat tumataba na yung mga pa ako which is it's getting uncomfortable when i go for long walks and then lastly is mas madali akong maanoy this time around i get annoyed easily and then after a few minutes i'm happy and then something would annoy me and then the next thing is like my emotions are roller coaster this time around forgot to mention so what i also do to help myself 
um, makatulog sa gabi is now I put a pillow in between my legs because if not, it's just hard to fall asleep because now that I am laying more sideways, so it really helps if I have a pillow in between my legs or else I just can't sleep and I just, I am I just won't get comfortable sleeping. So moving on now, I will talk about the difference with my pregnancy, with my first pregnancy, which I was, I had a boy, and the second pregnancy now that I'm having a girl. With this pregnancy, I can say na mas madali siya, mas easy yung pregnancy ko compared nung una. Like nung una, it was just bad and I really had a hard time. I don't know because it was my first time, pero I'm not speaking for everyone. This is just my experience because I heard everyone is different, every woman is different. Like, they have their first pregnancy easy, but then the second one was, was hard. But for me, my first pregnancy was really hard, and then the second time around was so easy. It's like chicken a chicken. So my first difference na notice ko talaga is my morning sickness was not bad. Yung morning sickness ko sa first pregnancy ko, it was very bad. Like, never ako nag-vomit. But I am always feeling nasusuka. So every time it's like, bleh, bleh, para kong nagaganon. Every single time. I don't know, maybe because it's my second time around and my body knows or has adjusted to it. But, hindi ako nasusuka or I didn't feel nauseous or dizzy and all of that. And then the next one is, I am not as moody in this pregnancy as the first one. Because the first pregnancy, I was very moody. I was like getting depressed. I think it's called pre okay it's called prenatal depression with my first pregnancy I was having prenatal depression I was always sad I was always moody I was always crying but with this one it's like I just feel like a normal person maybe because I have Dylan with me and he keeps me company and he always makes me smile and we do stuff together so i am not bored i am not alone even though sometimes i feel lonely still but i don't get sad and depressed like i used to with my first pregnancy because i remember i was like always crying i was just being childish i was crying for some childish reasons and then the next one is very dry skin so my skin is really really dry that's also one reason why i suspected i'm having a girl because my skin is very dry and i don't remember my skin being this dry with my first pregnancy yung tuhod ko guys yung tuhod ko is very it's like white because it's super dry and you can see the goosebumps every time i mean it's so bumpy and it's just white it's like you put white chalk on my knees that's how dry my skin is just everything like all over my body my legs my feet they are so dry so you might not like notice it in the video but my skin is very dry i also have acne in this pregnancy um before i got pregnant i didn't have any pimples but like after just a few weeks or after a month that i found out i'm pregnant pimples just starts boop, 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 popping out so that's also one of my symptoms the difference and then no food aversion so food aversion is when food that you usually like yung mga gusto mo now hindi mo na gusto because of the pregnancy so before i remember with dylan with my pregnancy with dylan um like the fried chicken the pizza the burger and all of those stuff na na paborito ko na gusto kong kainin is ayoko is like eh, nasusuka ako like I don't want to see it. I don't want to smell it. If I do, nasusuka ako. So yun yung na notice ko. With marami akong inaayawan. Like especially fried food before. Like I haven't, I remember I didn't fry any food in my first trimester 
before because talagang mm, I hate the thought of it. So with this pregnancy, I just ate anything like wala akong pile for this pregnancy which is very nice because parang mas na enjoy ko talaga yung pregnancy na to kasi parang normal lang wala akong like eh binabawas sa sarili ko i can just eat any like almost everything that i want which is very very nice so the next one is the hip pain because with my first one i didn't experience any like body body aches or anything like that i don't know maybe because i was so flexible and stretchy that time that i didn't experience any hip pain back pain i didn't even have cramps so with this pregnancy from since the first trimester up until now i have been having back pains you guys like it's just there all the time it don't go away it's like right here um on top of my like butt or hips I don't know like it's on the right side it's on the spot right there and it never goes away so it's like I feel like an old person because every time my kukuni knuckles the floor or my you know I need to bend down it hurts so yeah that's the only thing that I also hate about this pregnancy and what's also weird with this pregnancy is that I have been liking color pink. I get so happy when I hang a pink towel in our bathroom. Or I get so happy when I see pink flowers like when I'm just walking. And I have been planting pink flowers. <laughs> so it's also like one thing that I suspected that I think I'm having a girl because hindi ako masyadong hilig sa pink I am more on the neutral colors like why my favorite color is like yellow so I'm not really into pink I'm not saying I don't like pink pink are cute but they are just not my top color so another pregnancy symptoms guys that I experienced ko in this pregnancy na wala before is the pregnancy insomnia so before with Dylan, I could sleep like two hours nap sa hapon. Like I am just so tired and exhausted. Every time I lay in bed, I'm like already out. I'm like, oh. but with this pregnancy, especially with Dylan, you would think na I am more tired. But every time I try to take a nap in the afternoon because I am tired, I just could not sleep. Hindi ako makatulog. I'm just reading my um, pregnancy symptoms. I hope I was able to explain my pregnancy symptoms enough. But if you guys have any questions, I'll be more happy to um, answer that in the comments below. So I'll give you guys a bump update. <laughs> so this is how we currently look right now. That's how big my tummy is. So yeah but i'm really really happy to finally sit down and share to you guys my pregnancy symptoms and especially that i like to document this moment in my life so that i can re-watch it years from now and and listen to myself talk about my pregnancy symptoms because if you do not know this will be our last baby we are only having two so it's nice for me to like keep a little diary of it of my pregnancy symptoms and how nice it is to go through all these changes in our body the gaining of the weight and the feeling your baby kicking it's all part of like that very beautiful thing of creating a human being and birthing them into the world you may feel like oh my body is changing like this are happening oh i don't like it i'm getting depressed blah 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 but on the flip side if you look at the positive side of it you are also powerful in some kind that you are creating a human being in your body one thing that i noticed go with this um pregnancy is how long 
my hair has gotten this is probably like the longest I've had my hair like with this length okay, so the other day I had my doctor's appointment and I did my sugar test my glucose testing so I don't know if I passed my sugar test or what so I really wanted to know that because I know last time with Dylan I did it the second time because I failed the first one because I've been eating sweets so I don't know if I'm gonna do the same thing again but I hope not because I just like don't like the fasting and the waiting and all that so the doctor checked my belly too and he said that my baby's breech her head is um on my left side so her head is still on my left side so hopefully she will turn around into the right position as we go further along so yeah everything looks good mama is healthy baby is healthy i am just very very excited to see baby girl because i just could not wait it's like oh can i just have her already but this time around i am just trying to take things slow and breathe and try to rest and take care of dylan and spend more time with him so that's what i am just currently doing now and just taking one step at a time and preparing all of this stuff for her and try not to stress out about it and get overwhelmed because i know last time <laughs> it's like oh we need to get this we need to get that you know we need to buy this and that but you know it's okay this is our second baby the most important thing that she needs is her mama to take care of her all the other stuff you can you know you can improvise and something so that's it for today guys i have been just talking blah 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 so i hope you guys got something from this video and i hope this helped you um i don't know if it really does help you in some way but i hope it does um make you feel like you are not alone <laughs> in this journey that it is normal to have a roller coaster of emotions and every pregnancy is different so i hope you guys are doing well and i'll see you all on the next video bye guys